responsibility also from God. Yes, God is the one who gives responsibility to us, and he's the one that expects us to exercise authority well. Now, have any of you ever been given authority by your teacher, maybe to be the line leader? Anybody? Well, what's the responsibility of a line leader? They lead the line, they go first, right? Now, if the line leader suddenly, instead of going down the hall to the cafeteria, decided to go out the front door and down to the ice cream shop, would they be in trouble? Absolutely, right? Because they didn't exercise their authority correctly. They misused the authority that they were entrusted with. And so our first reading today is reminding us that just because someone is in authority doesn't mean they can do whatever they want. People in authority are supposed to be authors. They're supposed to be life-giving to the ones around them. And our saint today, St. Albert the Great, he was an authority. He was a bishop and he was a teacher. And he was really good at both of them. And he also was a scientist. And if you know, I love science. In fact, I especially love physics. I was listening to a lecture the other day by Father Spitzer, who's a physicist, and he was talking about the origins of the universe. And he said that most physicists now have pretty much agreed that there has to have been a beginning to our universe. Now, for a long time, scientists were trying to explain the universe without God, without some first cause, but they've all kind of hit a wall and realized there has to be a first cause. And the wonderful thing about science is science and faith are not opposed to each other. You know, sometimes people in the world try to imagine that science is what intelligent people use to explain the world, and faith is what superstitious people use to explain the world. But that's not really true, and St. Albert proves that to us because St. Albert was a man of science and faith. In fact, he believed that all science leads to truth, and anything that leads to truth leads us to God because Jesus told us, I am the way and the truth and the life. And so there's really nothing that's true that can lead us away from God. And when we learn, we're actually using one of the gifts God gave us. God gave us our brains, and he wants us to use our brains. That's why I always love St. Thomas the Apostle. You know, sometimes people think that asking questions about faith is a lack of faith, but that's not true. See, asking questions about faith is what we call theology. Theology is faith seeking understanding. And so even though we believe in faith that Jesus came into the world and was born and lived among us, our reason, our intelligence, our brains wants to understand that. And that's why we do theology. We try to understand what our faith is talking about. And so today I want you to remember both of those things. I want you to, to remember authority and truth. So one, just because someone's in authority doesn't mean they can do whatever they want. People in authority who are really godly authorities seek God's will. They seek to do what God is asking them to do and they use their authority correctly. And truth, knowledge. So today you're gonna to go back to class. Hopefully you're gonna learn lots of things I hope your brains don't explode, but I hope you learn a lot today. And I hope what you learn today helps you to grow closer to God, that maybe the things you're learning cause you to ask good questions about how God is acting in your life today, because all truth ultimately leads us to God.